Hello, and welcome to The Update. I'm Chase Salisbury. And I'm Jared Oates. And these are the latest stories. Confirmation hearings for Trump's Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch began on Monday. I just hope that Judge Gorsuch gets a fair hearing and is appointed to the court as soon as possible, said Merrick Garland, who then punched a hole in a wall, took a deep breath, and walked away like nothing happened. In a meeting this week with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Trump refused an opportunity to be photographed shaking hands with the foreign leader. On a scale of 1 to 10, how awkward was it? 9. Although it's weird that Trump wouldn't do this hand motion with the German Chancellor, seeing as that his supporters have no problem doing German hand motions all of the time. Other reports indicate that Trump did not want to be photographed shaking hands with Merkel because he was worried that her hand would crush his tiny, tiny fingers. FBI Director James Comey testified before the House Monday on claims that Obama wiretapped Trump and that the Russians interfered with the election. But he spent most of the hearing just reminding everyone, but guys, her emails! According to the Washington Post, a man from Grand Rapids, Michigan was admitted into the hospital last Christmas Day. He was complaining of stomach pains, but it took doctors several days to figure out exactly what was making the man so ill. It turned out that he had a very rare strain of strep throat, a bacterial virus that would end up claiming both his hands and his feet. Fortunately, he was able to escape the occurrence alive. High five? No? Donald Trump spent his seventh weekend as president down at his resort in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, golfing, something he routinely criticized President Obama for doing during his presidency. Turns out Trump was just surprised that a black guy was allowed on a golf course, something that would never happen at a Trump resort. Concerns are rising over the fact that taxpayers are on the hook for all this. We're paying millions in taxes so that Trump can go golfing, so that Melania can shop and stay at Trump Tower, so that the Trump children can go on business trips. When asked about the Trump family's costly expenses and added protection, someone who voted for Trump in November said, you know, I was with him when he wanted to ban all Muslims, deport 11 million Mexicans, and build a wall, but now that he's hurting white people too, I'm just not so sure. A representative for the House Intelligence Committee, Will Hurd of Texas, went on the record the other day giving President Trump advice about his claims that Obama wiretapped Trump Tower, saying, it never hurts to say you're sorry. What does hurt, however, is having Justin Bieber lyrics come even this close to politics. In this week's massive understatements, President Trump was tweeting that North Korea is behaving very badly. We took this opportunity to fact check. North Korea is not, in fact, the name of President Trump's puppy. Very naughty North Korea. Bad dog. Kim Kardashian recounted her experience of being robbed in Paris on this Sunday's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Of course, Robbed in Paris is also the name of a new reality show where Kim's younger brother, Rob Kardashian, goes to France. When asked for comment, Kim's husband, Kanye West, admitted that Kim was robbed, but wasn't robbed as badly as Beyonce was at the 2009 VMAs. In entertainment news, with a $170 million opening weekend, Disney's Beauty and the Beast set records for a March opening. All this after families across the nation had threatened to boycott the film because LeFou, Gaston's henchman, was openly gay in this remake. What, because he seemed super straight in the cartoon? That's all we've got for you this week. This has been The Update. Take it easy.